Rob Party. Thank you. These discussions have been amazing. So we're going into fear. What's yes. to fear? Is there fear? Like, whoa, what's what's up with fear, right? What do you have to say about fear? Oh, well, fear is... I learned, I think, at a very young age because of the situation with my dad that I could either live in fear um, or I could really see reality of what's under my control and what I could do and all those other things. And yeah. so, um, you know, I, I have a really interesting relationship with fear because I am the type of person that if you tell me not to walk down a street because it's dangerous, I'm probably going to go down that street. You're going to find out what that was all about. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm going to go down there and, I, and <laughs> I'm going to, I'm going to check it out. Right. So, um, and if, if we're just like, like looking at the slide, right. Um, this all comes from, uh, I'm a big acronym person. You, so my T acronym is that you should have a cup of tea every day which means you should think about your thoughts, efforts, and actions, which are the three things that are under our control. That's so beautiful. And whether you like tea or not, we're not talking real tea. We're talking yeah, we're tea. Not, we're not. Yeah. Well, let's, leave the, <laughs> let's leave the real tea out of it. So, um, but, so for me, fear, the acronym I use, because everyone says it's false evidence appearing real. And I'm like, okay, that's really nice, but I'm sort of an action guy. So it's not really telling me anything, you know, nice. false evidence appearing real. So, mm. so <laughs> I, I I've realized that fear most of the time, I have to say all of the time really, mm -hmm. um, is finding excuses against reaching beyond your comfort zone. Oh, nailed it. Right. That's really good. I love and that. We are attached to our comfort zone. We are attached to everything in our comfort zone. We're afraid to lose right. the things in our comfort zone. Yeah. Um, we have defined ourselves, our comfort zone, we have created, and in turn, it's created our identity. Yeah. And it's all an illusion. Because when I was getting divorced, I was like, or, you know, moving towards it, I was like, well, I can't get divorced. I won't have insurance. And guess who lost his job? And guess who lost his insurance? It's like, our insurance. It's like, <laughs> okay, well, there went that excuse. <laughs> Here is but, an excuse as well, right? Yeah, yes. And so the, the thing about like all, all this attachment stuff and everything, right? And, yeah. you know, I did learn this. My wife, Desiree, that has passed. And mm -hmm. You know, my identity was was impacted for sure. And all the attachments of I was supposed to be the investment banker with the doctor wife living in New York City and the, all of those expectations, which are the bricks, by the way, of our comfort zone. Um, I was like, OK, well. It was. I fooled myself into believing that. I could be attached. That's the thing. Every single thing we have is on loan. Ooh, there you go. Yeah. So, you know, because eventually we're going to die, but there could also be a hurricane. There could be a, yeah. a theft. There, there, you know, it's the ownership of something. And it's an illusion. <laughs> you know, our, our pictures is very small. It is an illusion. But if you're holding on to something so tightly, if people yeah. see my fists, right? How in the world? White you, yeah, it's that fist, right? So how in the world are you going to be able to grab something new? Oof. And right? therefore, you've closed yourself off from abundance. And therefore, there's fear because there's lack. Yeah, man. So. Okay. And so you basically have been talking about, you know, fear comes from attachment, right? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So what's the antidote? Tea. You said it in the <laughs> last interview we did. It is curiosity. Oh, I love it. It is. We are curious beings. We're not supposed to stop being curious because we get to a certain age. We are curious <laughs> beings. And we should feed that and nourish that. Children 
really don't have fears. You know, they'll climb up a tree. Well, today, maybe we tell our children we shouldn't do this and we shouldn't do that. And we've given them fears that well, yeah, I don't know. My, mo my mother didn't know what I was doing. <laughs> Well, there's that one too. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, but, um, you know, you'll go out and you'll try and you'll attempt and you'll experiment. And so and you and learn and then you have a knowing and the door closes and it will never open because you can't go back from unknowing. <laughs> exactly. I love how you wrap that up. So <sighs> curiosity, I actually, um, I have a little, well, I have a little compass that I give my clients and I call it the compass of curiosity. Ooh. And in a way, it's more about how they're showing up in life. But on the other side, the other part of curiosity is not just yourself, but is about the world, right? Because the more curious you are, the more you will see the gifts in life. Um, mm -hmm. And a lot of times we close one eye and we're not really curious because we're afraid of the bad thing that might be around the corner. Um, but if we start to embrace the curiosity, we will realize that, you know, there's so much good. There's so much wonder. So. Yeah, absolutely. So the antidote is, is curiosity. curiosity. I love that. Okay. Um, so we use fear to stay small, right? Yep. Okay. And what it does is increases the fear. So small isn't about small, <laughs> right? It just increases the fear. So the fear just gets bigger and bigger, not smaller and smaller. Does that make it's, sense? It, yeah, it, it's that it's that comfort zone, right? Okay. So the, the higher you make the wall on your comfort zone, um, the less you're seeing outside of your comfort zone, you're attached to the things in your comfort zone and you can only hold so much, right? So therefore, it it just contracts. It's like Ooh. if you think of Star Wars, the original Star Wars, when right. Luke and Han and uh, Leia were in the garbage dumpster thing and the walls <laughs> were closing and it was yeah. going to crush them. You know, that's what I mean I about that. fear is used to stay small. Because yeah. the more we can use the excuse of fear, to allow ourselves to stay small in that little comfort zone, we, we talk ourselves out of everything. But right. wow, there's so much outside those walls. That's really a great analogy. I love it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Robert. Sure. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.